What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Today on the show, I want to look at what my dream version of the all new 2023 Ford Escape would cost me. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is David Boyd, and uh, I am an auto journalist here on YouTube, and uh, I like to build and price vehicles from time to time to see what my my dream version of this vehicle would cost. And uh, hopefully, you enjoy this and uh, play along till the end, and then you see what my uh, my version of this is going to cost me. And uh, I have a feeling it's going to cost me a little bit. So first off, let's look at this thing. This is from Ford's Build and Price. This is their website uh, for the 2023 Escape. And uh, not a bad looking color. Uh, they've just refreshed this one. So it's um, you know a lot of new things to it. So uh, let's go over here. Let's click this Build and Price and see what happens. I've As normally, I don't try to, um, I don't try to uh, price these out beforehand. I don't try to look at the websites or anything. So what you see for me is what you see so let's get into this thing we'll bring this thing up here and let's look at the ford website now it says you can build your own or they can try to find you one well pretty sure you can't find something that they just are starting to show so uh you know we'll uh, deal with what we've got here so looks like we've got a few options now i will i will say that i do not know the escape that well uh it's these are generally uh kind of commuter cars and uh but it looks like they've got maybe an st line that kind of looks fun and so i'm interested to learn more about these so let's look at the base starts at twenty seven thousand five hundred, and i guess you don't get a picture for that that price uh the active version is twenty eight thousand eight forty five. the st line is twenty nine thousand eight forty. the st line select ooh, we've got a select hell yeah is going to be about thirty four thousand forty dollars uh, there's a platinum, in case you need one, is thirty-seven thousand four sixty-five, and then you got an S. Man, they just keep going. An ST Line Elite at thirty-eight thousand uh, dollars, and let's see, we got a plug-in hybrid for thirty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. Now, a lot of options here, and depending on what your needs are for this vehicle. Now, let's remember, this thing is an Escape. It's not a huge SUV, but it's not the, I don't think it's the tiniest thing out there. And depending on what you need, you know, looks like you've got options. The cool, th the cool thing is they do have that plug-in hybrid, or they have just normal hybrid versions the way it looks. So let's go all the way back to the first again. Kind of take a look. Uh, it doesn't look like till the SD line till you can get into the hybrid. Uh, and there's $29,000 on that one. Uh, then, like the price difference here, the jump is pretty crazy. So that's with the EcoBoost. Let's see what happens if I click hybrid here. Uh, wow, no price increase for that? I would say probably down the road there is a little bit of price increase for that. But for $37,000, you can get that Platinum and uh, the ST Line Elite. So let's see what that ST Line Elite says for $38,460. It is uh the SD line elite was was doesn't just break up boring. Uh, it obliterates them. Okay, I'm not sure exactly about that, but um I think it's something in a vehicle like this. It's this is a miles per gallon game. Let's let's be honest. That's what these vehicles are. And uh now that you know usually you see the ST with Ford and it's a little something a little more hotter, but um let's look at uh let's start our building price on this st line elite because that's that's about where i think my wallet would want to start with one of these so first off looks like we get a bunch of different colors ford has a really good building price website for anything they do from mustang f-150 to bronco they have a i'm always impressed with their website so let's see what we start out here with this color so a gate black metallic let's see what else we got rapid red uh metallic tinted trike or clear coat man i cannot speak uh, I actually have this color in my Bronco. It's a freaking great color. I love it a lot. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got star white metallic tri coat, and there's as you've seen, there's upcharges on these. Next up is iconic silver. No upcharge on that one. Looks like we got Atlas blue metallic. No upcharge. Carbonized gray uh, metallic. Uh, cinnabar red metallic. That's kind of interesting. And then you got vapor blue metallic. Uh, that that blue is pretty good. Let's let's see what we got here. If we pan around, see what are the shots we got. Let's uh let's go through the uh, colors one more time so we can see them. Rapid red looks pretty good. A little sporty. Uh, that that white is pretty uh pretty nice. Let's see, blues gray. Uh, that's the cinnabar, which is kind of an interesting color. And then we've got the uh, Vapor Blue, which is uh, in the comments below, where are you at? Which one would you choose? I'm going to say this is a tough one. It really is because I love I love my Rapid Reds. That's very sporty. Uh, I think you could put some wheels, you know, some kind of upgraded wheels on this thing if you wanted to just kind of give it a little more pizzazz. 
Uh, but then again, like I'm a fan of these blues. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's give it one more time here between there. Rapid red looks good. I mean, even the white on this vehicle looks pretty, pretty bitchin', man. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to choose. I'm going to stick with this blue. I like this blue, the Atlas blue, and there's no upcharge for it. So that's that's always a plus with these things is, is uh, hey, I'm not overpaying for this vehicle. So uh, sometimes for this, you know, this particular vehicle, there's certain times if it's a special car or something, I'm probably going to pay a little extra for that upgraded paint. This is just, uh, you know, kind of a daily for me. So uh, let's see what we got here. So we've got engine options. you got a 2.5 liter uh, IVCT uh uh, hybrid engine. It's an I4 engine, or you can get the 2.0 EcoBoost with Auto Start Stop technology. Now, once again, I'm about. This is a commuter car for me. This is something that you know I need miles per gallon on. And uh, let's see, does it give us any cool information about the hybrid? So the the 2.5 uh, powertrain features an electronically controlled continuous variable, or you know the industry hates uh, CVT transmission. Uh, with a 94 watt kilowatt electric motor also the, in the new escape uh, hybrid package is a liquid cooled lithium ion battery uh, smartly outside the vehicle below the floor of the secondary row seat well that's because sometimes those do catch on fire let's let's be honest um i think i'm going to stick probably with this i, I think i'm going to stick with the the two liter on this one because i think it's still probably gets pretty good mileage so uh included with that we're going to get an all-wheel drive system in this which is that's pretty freaking nice for this uh this kind of vehicle so very excited about that now we get into some of their tech packages um ford is this is one thing i wish ford would uh just sort of i wish all manufacturers would go to the uh the click button on these i wish i wish you could just check what you wanted in a in a package if uh you know i wanted that 12 inch screen bam, I can do that or whatever they're offering in the vehicle you're looking at and heated steer wheels, stuff like that stuff. I want, cause I think nine times out of 10, I know I would probably spend more if I just had the option to build it as car, exactly what I wanted, but you know, we're not in that age just yet. Uh, so let's see. So the equipment group, um, I don't want to go into that cause it looks like it's already putting us in the higher package. So let's see what the, uh, 501 sees. So we're going to get sync four with a, advanced uh, voice recognition you're going to get those 19 inch wheels which i could give or take on those uh exterior features we're getting all the black grills the led headlights uh dual chrome exhaust tips because you want to hear the zoomies uh what else we got going on here yeah, interior features uh, dual zone climate control which i love i just love kelly loves it too she likes being able to i use i freeze her out so us being able to have the option of uh <clears throat> you know both you know being a little bit more comfortable the way we want it it's pretty cool uh we won't get into much more of that because um well let's see what power and handling says uh electronic traction control all-wheel drive uh four-wheel disc brakes cruise control which is pretty much standard anymore uh electronic power power assist steering which is uh it's basically an electric um it's an electric steering rack uh eight-speed automatic transmission which i'm telling you just that alone for me CVTs. I know poor Nissan has a hard time with CVTs, but they're all they all have their issues. And uh, I would rather have just a real automatic transmission, personally. Uh, electric peer, uh, parking brake and mini uh, street spare wheel, which is um, yeah. Do we? Uh, I wish they'd put full size in these, but I get why they don't. All right, so with this package, you're going to add a uh, class two trail or tow hitch with this thing, which I don't need a tow hitch for this size vehicle at all. I know there's people that do. If you live in a city, maybe you have a jet ski or some small trailer that you, uh, you know, need to travel around with a little bit. I totally understand it. But for me, I don't think uh, I need I need a tow package in this thing. Uh, we're getting a the discount package for uh, the two liter. What the heck is that? Hmm. I guess they don't want us to know. Uh, the memory package, driver seat and driver front passenger side view mirrors. That's kind of cool. It remembers how, you know, you have maybe two drivers, punch it in, go from there. Now, what is this premium technology package for 19, uh, 1910? Uh, it's going to include active park assist 2.0, uh, the b &O sound system by Bang and Olfsen, uh, 10 speakers, including subwoofer HD radio. Heads up display, leather trimmed seats, uh, quilting designs, and uh, with the mini perforations, so they're a little bit cooler. That's a lot of money. 
Now the park assist would be pretty nice, uh, but past that, the heads up display, to me, they give me a headache. I don't know if anybody here in the channels has dealt with heads up display, but I, and you can change the brightness of them, but I get to where I get a headache because I start focusing on the heads up display and not necessarily the road. So for me, I'm not always a fan of that. So I think we're going to leave it alone for right now. Let's see. We've got uh, exterior. We've got a couple options here. You've got the 19-inch machine-faced ebony painted aluminum wheels that are included. Or what is it? I bet it tries to take us, put us in a different package. Nope. Nope. Oh, let's see. Let's, this is a little spicy girl. Let's let's see what we got here. So that's the previous wheels. Let's see if it changed it. Ooh. Is there any upcharge in these? There is, but I like those wheels a lot better. So I'm for 200 bucks basically. I like that a lot. Um, tires, it never shows anything about tires. Now you can get a panoramic Vista roof. Let's see what the uh, this shows. Ooh, that's that's pretty nice, man. Available in the active ST line, ST line select, ST line elite, platinum, and plug-in hybrid models for fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, that's pretty nice. But that's a lot of money. This vehicle is already getting. Uh, it's a little pricey, I think, for an Econo vehicle. But uh, that's pretty nice. Let's see what else we may come to that. We may come back to that. We'll see because I really do like that uh roof rack uh roof racks we're getting uh, this is included with the package uh crossbars hmm i don't think i need anything like that uh the heated mirrors which i love man it's included in our package thank you because uh yeah i love heated mirrors especially i mean i'm i'm here in middle tennessee we do get a lot of ice and that builds up real quickly on those so it's nice that you kind of warm those up and you don't have to worry about it we are getting a remote start system included with this which um if you've had Ford's remote start system, it's A+. Plus. I love it. And I like the fact that they're not doing like other brands and trying to charge you extra for that that particular package because, man, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, I never want wheel locking. I always say it. I never. That's never. I don't live in a maybe a big town where people might want to steal your wheels, so I don't worry about that. The intelligent adaptive cruise control is included with our package. Let's see if it shows anything. Um really nice man you just hit that cruise control and i've dealt with this in, in ford and other brands it's pretty nice it just keeps you away from uh, other vehicles and that's just one more thing to keep you safe on the highway so if you get a family and you're interested in um, safety i think that is a plus that is a banger so you're going to get the uh the 300 the 360 degree camera with split view front and rear uh what's it say front and rear washer okay Oh, I must wash the camera off. I don't know. Uh, but the, their camera system, once again, it, it's very, very nice. Now we're into the interior. So it's already, that is already, let's pull this up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's already pretty sharp, man. Look at the little red. I like the red stitching there. Those seats look pretty comfortable. Look at the, this is always a plus to me, the bolstering. If you can get good bolstering on the side of the seats, A plus, because on, on trips and stuff, you don't want to slide around. You want to be connected to the, the vehicle as much as possible. So I'm a big fan of that. Looks like the back seats are pretty nice. you got a fold-down armrest. I bet there's a cup holder in there that would make Kelly happy. Uh, so it's included. This is, uh, oh, that's the dual zone. That's included with ours. Let's see. What else we got here? What is this one? Ooh, adding leather trimmed. Yeah, that's a big no. No, we don't. we don't want to do that. Uh, in this vehicle, I don't want to. There's no leather that I need in this vehicle. There is a particular customer, though. If you're, uh, you know, particular person, like maybe this is your final vehicle uh, in your cycle, and uh, that maybe that's for you, or you're a young person who just wants that plushed out vehicle that you can afford. There is no, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So you're getting the dual climate uh, controls on this, which I'm telling you, these are these are very nice. Uh, Ford does a nice version of that. Looks like it's got heated uh, seats as well. Um, can't say no to that can't say no to that and it's included in our package uh easy access uh access cargo shade let's see what this shows well that's kind of nice uh not for 135 dollars once again this vehicle for me is about it's a grocery grid or something like that uh cargo organizers pretty cool we're getting a heated front row seats uh 10-way driver seat which is nice uh mini spare wheel is included with us cargo organizers no uh, no smokers package, anything like that. Evasive steering assist, which is pretty nice. We are getting a heated steering wheel. Ford, where are you at with this, man? I would like a heated steering wheel in my uh, Bronco, and I have to do the highest package to do it. It's kind of annoying. 
Uh, we're going to get a reverse a brake assist, which that, once again, I've messed with Ford products. It's actually pretty handy. Uh, I live where I live. People are always walking up and down the sidewalks. I've had it where I didn't catch somebody and, uh, you know, they were close to me, not in behind me directly. And it stopped the vehicle, which I thought was really nice. Uh, once again, here's Ford's way. And this is all manufacturers that I, I don't know if it's the pew pew life or what's going on, why we need all these, the, the lock boxes there, but it, it trips me out. I love it. Uh, we're going to get the, uh, built in connected navigation, which is, uh, actually Ford's and sync four is pretty good. Though I think the age of uh, me needing navigation with everybody having one of these is uh, slim to none. We're going to get that XM satellite radio and uh, we're getting a summary here. So let's see what this bad boy costs. All right, let's click this little calculator because it is at at least for $524 a month. I always want to look at finance. Wow, you can go 84 months on this thing. Um, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, if you want to get it off quick, look, $1,000 a month will get you there uh we'll put it on 60 for right now just because i kind of think that's where everybody's at down payment of 300 or three thousand nine hundred sixty five dollars let's save and close that because there is no acquisition fee you start seeing a little extra at fees because leases they do they make up their money in leases trust me you think you're getting a deal and sometimes you do sometimes you're not so thirty eight thousand four sixty is where we start now three hundred and five dollars of options no accessories Destination charge of $14.95. Total MSRP is $39,650. And uh, that is our final price, $39,650 with an estimated monthly payment of $689. Now, that is uh, that is our, uh, our little escape here. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, once again, I, it's a brand new vehicle. So um, maybe I'll get to do some uh, press tours on this vehicle and uh, see how they handle and drive. I have a feeling that uh, usually this segment of vehicle, they all drive pretty well. It's a pretty nice segment of vehicle. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, this, uh, this Ford Escape Runner Drive. It's been your all-terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. We're out. Peace, everybody. We love you all.